Hello and welcome to stage three of Visions of Utopia. This one is preparing for Utopia. And I think that's Hockenheim Ring back there. Yes, we are at Hockenheim Ring. So this should get interesting. So look at this. Here's a little clip of the elimination race. And I'm about to lose. And that shocked me. But fifth place was just, I just couldn't catch him. So some of this is, remember, there's a many, many, many different cars. That's a Ferrari FXXK. That's a car. That's a very impressive car. And now my windshield's done and I failed. And this is when I discovered something interesting. And that is quit and retry. It's, it's gonna be your friend in this event. So I did that quite a few times. And I also noticed the cars changing here and there. So watch what happens. I, I did it way more times than what you see there. I might have done it 20 times. I don't really know. I just started, I started going crazy with it. But watch the difference here. It's really interesting. I think I might also start taking cuts. I might cut that first um, first corner. Just depends how this works. Oh, so that's another FXXK monster car. So yeah, big cut there. And then we're gonna take the rest of this clean. Another FXXK. Is that a, that might have even been an Evo? I, my drive into that corner was horrible. But I'm already in fifth place. Well, no, I was last time. Sorry fourth place I couldn't get but look at that as you can see this will be no problem is that a Venino really a Venino a little bit surprised at that oh yeah that's a Venino very unique car honestly that's one of my least favorite cars in the entire game for two reasons okay don't I, I love the way the car looks it is a stunning car it is ridiculously expensive uh, one of the t most expensive cars in the game to fully upgrade. Uh, I'm a little rusty. I haven't looked for a while. I think it's third. I th it should be really close to that. And the problem, what I dislike about the car is what you get for all that currency. You get a car that handles like a tank. It just feels so sluggish in the corners. It just drives me crazy. Okay, I've got all sorts of uh, tailgating. I can't remember if it's tailgating or slipstreaming definitely tailgating or else it wouldn't be working right now so I got all sorts of tailgating to get in and then I still got to win this event do I not yes I do so I'll get back up around this Pagani here got a little bit of time left to do oh that's not a Pagani that's a Ferrari FXXK amazing car so when, when the FXXK is your competition that's something else that's a car man and we're down to the last car. I'm not going to mess around with him, even though it's tempting to do donuts and all sorts of stuff. But let's not do that. But that's strange. He's driving horrible now that I'm in the lead. Interesting. I haven't encountered this this much for a while. Or actually at all, maybe. Because the race is over, I can let him pass me. So there you go. Quit, retry. Made things a lot easier. And uh, we'll explore that more. 116, I don't know how difficult or easy this will be. So notice recommended PR 71.6, I'm at 71. Huh, gorgeous car. So technically, so the general, ooh, Venino totally took me out. Holy smokes. The general rule of bot slowing is you have to be at or above recommended PR. Generally, it shouldn't work if you are below sometimes it does so we'll just see what happens here oh that was weird bonnet view that's ridiculous huh that that looked extremely strange the car looks horrible that way i mean i probably have it on bonnet view high i don't remember it looking that ridiculous though oh well uh, i'll have to look at that again maybe when i have a little more time on my hands and i feel a little more confident um, so 116. I don't have a good sense of my my time on this track, so I'm just gonna push it, and then if I have extra time, I can slow down at the start finish line. Lap one's always harder because you're st I started from a dead stop, um, but right on the line, you know, it didn't start me back a third of a lap. Oh, all sorts of time on the clock. Well, I'm gonna slow down a bit. Learned this trick, this suggestion from some other racers that. I used to finish every single lap really fast and then give time back on the last lap. 
and people were saying to me that you should really look at doing all of your laps slower, not just one. So I think that's a good idea. I've been doing that a little bit more, just in case your lap time is also calculated and increasing bot difficulty. So I've got a gargantuan lead. I can't really worry about that this race. I need to make the time target. So I'd love to have less of a lead, but that really, I can't afford to let that be my concern at this point. So I'm just gonna put it out of my mind and see if I've got time when I get to the end of this race, I'll give some back. So last time, 52 seconds, I was hitting this corner. I'm hitting it even earlier. Even though I started from kind of a, well, yeah, I slowed down quite a lot, but I'll, I'll be giving up more time here then. I mean, I've got 16, oh well, wow, 13 seconds left, 12. Let's do a donut. Let's see how much time I have left. Uh, I don't know. Some time to waste. Maybe not that much time though. I better hurry. Oh gosh, I almost lost. Well, that'd be embarrassing. Each lap must be under 116, not just one of them. So there we go. That's an awful lot of words. But we gotta finish at least fifth. Don't scratch the car, don't go off track. Okay, shouldn't be a problem. So here, check this out. I actually end up having a lot of a problem. They were way too fast. Look at first place. Watch that time fall. Sometimes it'll jump up again, but then look, overall, that's a massive drop in time. And this was really hard, actually. Before doing that, this was brutal. Part of it is the drive off of that corner, they started us horrible. And just, this looks, well, you'll just see. This really won't be too bad. I don't think, no, that's not an Evo. Evo doesn't have red. That's just an FXXK with a different page on. Yeah. So we really only have like one and a half laps. By the way, you can drive, not that much. That was definitely into the off track. You can drive there quite a lot without it counting as off track. So I'm not gonna cut this, this first corner because I'm not so sure. They say off track, but they're probably giving us like a second or maybe a second and a half. We'll see. Oh, the Jaguar. Ooh, I took that really bad. I encountered that car at the worst possible part of the corner. Now I only have to be in fifth, but my first couple of attempts at this race, it's like, yeah, forget about it. I'd see fifth place in the distance rounding the last corner. No way I was gonna touch him. Well, there's sixth right there. Not much of a problem. What's he in? An FXXK. And there's fifth and there's fourth. I can see in front of him. No problem at all. Especially since I take this corner better than bots all the time. They do very bad at this corner. Look at that. I could probably be in, yeah. So, oopsie. That's an Enzo. Oh, the Enzo is an epitome of a car that's fast in a straight line. Not much else. I gotta split up these jokers. I, I need to get in here. Okay, Enzo, you get behind me, you're a horrible car. And then the Jaguar has better grip, so he'll go. And we can go. So this went from being an impossible race with these upgrades to being easy, just because of quit and retry strategy. So this makes my point where strategy is so important in these events if you wanna keep your costs low. Okay, so don't go off track more than three seconds. Okay, I'm now below recommended PR. See that? Recommend the PR 72.6. I'm at 71. No. Oh, I was at recommended. I was below recommended PR from before. Silly me. So this, you just gotta try to be careful with the traffic. The Nino. There we go. Oh, it's the short circuit. Okay, I'm not really prepared for that. Good. I'm glad I got on the brakes when I did. Like, look at this. This is easy. Just from critting and retrying. Isn't that interesting? Jaguar, I really like some of those Jaguars. Really nice lines, really nice designed cars. And Venino, and oh, what is that? That's an Enzo. Oh gosh, silly Enzos. It's kind of funny, Enzos have a funny place in me because a long time ago, back in 2016, I got the 599 GTO and the Enzo right around the same time as each other. My 599 disappeared, but then I had two Enzos. The problem was, my Enzos were stuck in perpetual unserviceness. Unserviceness. You couldn't service them. So I'd service the car, 
it would show it was done being servicing, then instantly it would unservice it. And it was a horrible problem. Uh, it took EA nine months to fix it. They had to get one of their head engineers in my game to try to figure out how was this possible. And uh, they were really nice about it. They, they got me my cars back. They gave me some currency as compensation. They're good guys. Like, uh, I've had a lot of good with tech support. I've had a little bit of bad, mostly good. So, yeah, missing cars, all sorts of glitches they can take care of. So it's, uh, yeah, very good to know how you should fill out a ticket. If you ever do have to do that. There's been, I don't know, probably seven or eight times since 2015 that I had to contact support. And usually it's been good. So reeling this guy back in. Didn't go off track at all so far. Realized I could make that lap take a lot longer. Races went from being hard to being very easy. Like, stupid easy. <laughs> and, yeah, it's a, this is kind of a fun track on grippier cars. On loose cars, well, on loose cars, not many tracks are any fun, actually. But I find especially this track is not fun if you're loose. Like, this is full throttle through this section when you've got, uh, in, in a lot of cars, definitely grippier cars like this one. And then this corner, I've only been getting comfortable with this corner the last couple of years. I had a lot of trouble there. This corner as well, is a, it's, it's a tricky corner to maximize. Like, that might sound funny. You might say, well, how hard is it to drive a corner? Easy, but how hard is it to drive a corner well? Like some of the best in the game. Like, you might think you're taking a corner well, and you might find out you're giving up half a second in one corner. That's an eternity, guys, at one corner. I've had that happen. Just recently, I had that uh, realization at Suzuka Grand Prix Circuit. And yeah. All right, well, there we go, guys. That's the end of this stage. Please like, please subscribe. No gold spent. Join me for more videos. Here's the playlist link and something else you might find fun. Bye-bye now.